Welcome back to Ori Soaps and Bubbles. We have an exciting and hopefully helpful video for you today. As always, we are open to suggestions. If there is a soap you want us to make on our channel for you to see and for you to see the outcome, we will definitely do that. Just leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much and always enjoy. Previously on Ori Soaps and Bubbles. Welcome back guys and we're here because I'm going to explain to you in my very fast voice how I'm cutting up this charcoal soap and I'll explain to everyone how I have more to cut up so you guys are going to get a chance to see me cut up at least five pounds of soap in this video but a little bit different and I guarantee it won't be that fast. I mean it won't be that slow. So let's enjoy. Um, how, how should I say it? It's my own recipe and it works gorgeously and the ones that I'm cutting right now, I made this previously so I didn't get a chance to film when I made it, um, but the ones that I'm cutting right now are going out to uh, those that um, are in Arizona. So right now I'm just cutting it. All these shavings will be put to great use. Um, I like the rugged top to it. It's like little rustic mountains or whatever. But hey, I've always been that girl that like rustic stuff. <laughs> mm. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm measuring. Uh, yes, this is my sewing measure. So I'm measuring and then I'm just cutting it straight down, right there where the measure is, and I press straight down. That's what I'm doing. Right there. And I'll trim these up as soon as I get finished cutting all of this up. I do have some more to cut as well, but I wanted to make sure that they're at least the same size because my other cutter, I have it set, but for some reason, I end up with different cuts. It's not the same. And um, these two came with it, the little brown one. Everybody knows it. It's the one you start out with. Um, it's just not, it's not doing it. And I also have a piece of freezer paper here on my table. So as I cut these, um, the peelings and stuff that are falling off, they're on my paper instead of on my table. That helps me out a lot as I'm cutting these. And of course, the ends and stuff like that will definitely stay at home. Let's see. I like to try to get it as precise as I possibly can. I will have my cutter here very, very soon. There we go. Got my cut line. Let's make sure it's straight. Turn it. Press it down. There we go. And see, here's what I'm talking about. Now I'm getting more consistent looking bars. Um, this one is a little bit larger than this one, I believe. Um, but if you look at all of the other ones, they're very consistent. And that makes me happy. That makes me really, really happy. Because all before, I wasn't really getting this. I like the rugged tops of these and the sides. It's just, it's really awesome. And it looks very handsome or however. I may make this a man soap. But anyways, this is what it looks like. It's my charcoal soap. It is hot processed. Um, and I am going to make some more of this. Um, this part came out a little thicker than I wanted. Um, and this is like the end piece which I gotta find people who don't mind trying homemade soap so they get a chance to try the soaps. So I cut that one in half. I'm gonna cut this one in half. These will probably be for those that don't mind using homemade soaps and giving it a test out. Yeah, there we go. So now, these will go out to some of the orders that I actually get. So you get a chance to see the cutting of, at least one of the cuttings, because the other cutting you guys did not get a chance to see of the, um, of the soap. And that's when I actually took the soap down to um, Arizona with me. We were taking a family trip down there. Um, and I gave out some samples and then they was like, oh yeah, we really want these, this soap. So that was pretty great there. Um, so yeah, well, that's pretty much all I wanted to share today. I know this is a one of the shortest videos I possibly have posted yet. Um, and maybe more short ones are coming along. But I had already cut up most of all of this and I was like, oh wait, do they possibly want to see what each bar looks like as I cut it? And yeah. Awesome sauce. I'm going to go and edge these up. Use a potato peeler and go around the edges. Get them all together. Now, is it perfect? No. Is it better than what it was? Yes. A whole lot better than what it was, trust me. Because they were uneven. It was a complete mess. And just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So, this is from another batch of it in a smaller mold. And it looked... Okay, so that's one there, right? But then, the next one that came out was a chunk. So, if you can tell the difference here... You'll see what I'm talking about. A little bit more uniformity is what I was going for. Alright? So, you guys have the most excellent day. Stay creative. Keep your mind open to Yahoo. And always, 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 always have a Baruch or blessed day. Bye!
Now let's continue on with our next cutting. Hopefully you are enjoying and go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and become a part of our crew. Okay, so here what I'm doing is setting up a smaller space. I am in a different area, so I'm setting up everything, making sure the camera doesn't fall, putting everything in its place. So you guys will be able to see me do the cutting of the rest of the 10 pound soap. And let's get started. The last ones that we put up, um, if you saw the other video you saw previously, I'm gonna unmold these and we're gonna get a great look at what they look like. Now these I don't have to do much to, but here's a great look at it. I like that rugged top and I like how it shows up on the bottom. It gives it a lot of character to me. Um, very different than cold processed soap because remember this is hot processed soap that we're unmolding. These were the ones that we put in last night. I still haven't figured out a way to uh, bang down the silicone molds which maybe is something that I have to learn. This one isn't ready to be unmolded just yet. That was the very last one I put in. So we're gonna wait a little while. But all of the rest of them are unmolding quite greatly and they look rather greatly. And this is what I was saying last night. Because this is just a rebatch of soap, um, these are gonna be the testers in my home or testers for others. If you guys would like to test it out, just let me know. Um, and I'll send you a small bar like this and you can use it around your house and let me know how it works out for you. But what I was trying to do is to just, yeah, stretch it out, make it a charcoal bar of soap, but not as to have so much charcoal in it. Activated charcoal is what I'm talking about, not regular charcoal. Please don't go get barbecue charcoals and think that's what I'm using, it's not. It's activated charcoal specifically made for soap, okay? All right, so I don't think I'm gonna too much bother with these, but one of the things I am going to do is I want to seal these. So I have my sealer here, I, I have one, and I have some bags, let's see. That was about three of them looks like they're ready. So one, two, and three. So we have three bags. And now that we have three bags, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pop them into the bag and then we're gonna put them, oh, I should have grabbed another bag. So I'm gonna go back and grab another bag. I'm trying to stay in camera view here so you can see exactly what happens and how it all happens. Let's see, can we put this in from the side view?
now we're just gonna press this down around here press down and you're gonna get a puckle like the puckle is there if you can see that you're gonna get that you just have to keep there we go putting the heat on it and it'll automatically get that tightened up for you now if you put too much heat on these bags they will uh, melt through so you only want to do it a tiny bit on the top and the reason being is just to tighten it up just a bit and there you have it your soap should look like that all right let's do the next one so I'm gonna move this one out of the way again back to the bottom Again, get that. I'm not doing this too much, just a wee bit. And I keep moving my heat gun away from it and pressing these corners in as I heat it up. And the reason I do that is so that we don't have any issues. There you go. You don't need that much heat on your soaps when you're using your heat gun. Now, if you're using a blow dryer, Oh, your blow dryer is going to take forever. I tried that, and my blow dryer gets up, I thought, pretty high. But unfortunately, it took me like 10 minutes to do one bag. And I was like, nope, where's my heat gun? I'm going to learn this today. So, it's a learning process. Let me see, that's the bottom. I'm holding it down here. And as you can see, just a little bit. Just a little bit just a wee bit a little bit on top there we go tighten it up on that side and we're done another one down let's do the last one there we go. now was this easy for me at first no i burned straight through like four or five of my bags honestly i did i had to figure out how much heat it was going to take in order for me to get them to the place where they needed to be without overdoing it. So here are the smaller bars and they are ready to go except for my label and if I decide to put any packaging and then the ingredients here on the back. So yeah, those are done. And now I'm going to show you how I actually cut the larger bars. Be right back. Okay. So, one thing I brought back with me was my potato peeler. Because most of the time on the larger bars of soap, you're going to need it. I have my measuring, once again. And it's one inch bar soap. And just to make sure, I have my knife with me. Um, and I'm doing it this way right now until I'm able to get a soap cutter. So, until I get that, I'm going to do my best, as we always should, and make sure that we cut as much as possible directly to that one, one inch mark. So, the first soap that I'm going to take out is going to be the one that had the lid on it that we put up last time. Here we go. You guys should be able to see that, and I'm going to try to level this out here. Just sit the scissors there. Go ahead and take the lid off. And remember, this is hot processed soap, right? So now I'm going to turn it over and take the first casing off. Then, now that I have this casing off, I'm going to now pull the sides off pull the sides off this way and I do it this way just to kind of loosen up everything see if I can get my finger in that way see if I can get my finger in that way and then I am going to push on the bottom on both sides now as I push down it should gradually but surely come out all right now this has been just overnight 24 hours 
Look at that gorgeous top of that soap. Look how beautiful it turned out. I'm absolutely happy with what I see, the results. So I'm gonna get this moved out of the way and we are going to cut this soap. So give me a moment. So first things first, we're going to turn the soap on its side and I'm gonna make sure the pretty side is facing you. Yes, pretty side face you, not me. <laughs> I wanna see the bottom side. So I'm going to measure I don't know if you can see that in camera or in view, so I'm gonna bring it over just a bit. Move this over here. So I'm going to measure right here at one inch, okay? With my measuring, uh, I guess, tool. Then I'm gonna use my left hand, I'm normally right-handed, guys, but I'm gonna use my left hand to press a mark here. So I know that that's the one inch mark and I'm gonna use my right. Now that is obviously not correct. So give me about that again. There we go. Now, I'm gonna take my time and go straight down not going to make any corners or turn anything but that is our first one off the cuff so here we go with the next one oh let's go from this end now
if you stayed that long with the video, hi, I'm Ori. I enjoyed making that soap. That was the most fun time ever um, that I had a chance to actually make the soap, then take it apart. Well, not take it apart, uh, my brain. Um, then take it and uh, bag it, seal it, and show you guys the whole process. Um, that was 10 pounds of soap. I did speed that video up. I sped it up because if I would have let it play it out, you guys would have been like, oh, maybe this is a movie at this point. Anyways, um, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for being a part. And as always, enjoy. Loved Ori Soaps and Bubbles video? Head down to the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get those notifications. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you like the video and leave a review so that way we know what we can improve on. It's very much appreciated and as always, have the most excellent day. Ori Soaps and Bubbles.